So, hello and welcome to my first tutorial. In this tutorial we will create the whiskey scene. We will see how far we get today. I think this tutorial will have uh, two or three parts. Uh, first we model the bottle, then we model, uh, we make the, the liquids and the glass, uh, the, then and the last part will be the extra and lighting. So, what will we create? We create. Do -do, we want to create this one. So I said the first part will be we create the bottle. Then we create the liquids, the glass here, and the ice cubes with the pools here with the, um, the water. And the last part will be texturing, lighting, and then. We will see how far we come. Maybe we could have two parts or three parts. So let's start. Don't speak too much. Good. We start with, and so what I want to say just uh, maybe I have to search some tools or something because I made just a tutorial layout here. Uh, normally I have a total different layout, and but the one fit. Uh, for recording, so it's 20, 21 to 9 uh, in the dimension, so we need 16 to 9. So, okay, let's start. We create a rectangle, and I want to model this thing in the right size, so I don't think that any bottle has 400 centimeter. Of size good yeah and again sorry for my language my english is not so good but yeah i think it's getting better it's more tutorials as i do <laughs> good so right size the size i want to make uh 17 to 25 centimeter yes. So, nice, we are already done. Uh, not already, almost. <laughs> okay. Good, so we duplicate this rectangle. You can duplicate uh, if you, when you hold your, sh your command key and drag uh, the, the rectangle, boom, we have duplicated it. So then this one we make smaller, of course. We go in the scale tool and scale it about 70%. So we have. So yes, yeah, exactly. Good, and now we want some rounding. And rounding about 2 centimeters. Nice, but good. Now we uh, select both and we convert it so and you can click here on the symbol or you simply press press c on your keyboard now we have good now now we connect and delete these two guys right click connect objects and delete so now we have one spline that's what i want this was Brian. We extrude. We take an extrude up stick, and it looks not so nice. Oh, maybe funny bottle. And extrude, and then we go to zero, and we uh, this extrude. We uh, we see you again. So <laughs> we press C again. For the extrude, so we get a polygon. Uh, normally, I do this that we see, because I have here that I didn't optimize. It's a very handy plugin. So it, it does everything. Uh, if you have more uh, things here, it makes everything in one step and chuck boom ready <laughs> so, but now here we have just the spline and it's okay when we press c but 
just to show you, I usually want to collapse between. So, we don't need the selection deck. Now we go into edge mode and make a loop selection. With UL you go to the loop selection or you go to select and search here for the loop selection. But I love the shortcuts and so now UL loop selection and now we extrude these edges. So we go to the move tool or you press E on your keyboard. Then if we hold the command key on your keyboard and we drag just the edges, that's it. And I want to have it 17 centimeters, so I go here in the set axis and just press 17. So I have every, everywhere the same length. Now we have to close this polygon hole. Polygon, we right click, close polygon hole. Patch. So, that's it. What I do every time, every five minutes or so, I go into point mode and deselect everything, or you select area with command A, you select everything, but doesn't matter, nothing or everything doesn't matter in this case. Right click and optimize. So, everything, I'm sure everything is connected correctly. So, now we make another loop selection, so with edges, edge mode, UL, and to, I want to uh, these inner edges here, but they are a bit tricky to, uh, let's see, yeah. When you select boundary loop, so now we go again with the move tool E on keyboard, hold your command key and drag it about one and a half centimeter. Uh, yeah, just <laughs> yeah, okay. So and close this polygon hole. Right click. Close polygon hole Boom. and point mode select nothing, optimize. Oh, it's almost a bottle. So let's continue. Now we make a ring selection. You can uh, this is UB and a shortcut or again here and go to ring selection and I want to select these guys and then a loop selection here and the top here uh -huh. so. and if you add a, when you add a selection so you hold shift and add the selection with this selection we make a barrel so let's barrel, ms on shortcut or right click, go to barrel here. And the barrel we will take one and a half centimeters and the subdivision was, let's say five. Yeah, five is good. Ah, it's okay. So and now we a loop selection again, UL, and select the bottom here, Come on, so just the bottom, and again MS for bevel, and here we take one centimeter with three subdivisions, should be enough. Good, so far. Let's look what we have. Doesn't look so bad. Mm -hmm. oh, it's okay. Good. Uh, what I forgot, yeah, normally, if you see here some weird edges or something else, 
you can fix it with uh, if you use edge brakes if you deactivate it but here I have done it with the bevel itself when if you go in the bevel itself uh, let's yeah, so you go on under topology and you can here deselect from brake rounding if you select this you have sometimes you have weird edges and so, so. it's not not so not so beautiful so okay let's continue in edge mode now we select the top polygon here we want we want to model now the, the neck or no at first we bevel here a bit go in the loop selection ul one and we shift the second one ms for bevel and now three years and oh, let's see how, how many how far we can go yeah, point 0.6 is okay. Good. No. Okay. Now we start with the neck. Go here and select the top polygon here. Make first we make an inner extrude. This eye on your keyboard. Or here, inner extrude, with the right click. And in extrude one centimeter, I would say, yeah, one centimeter is good. Now, with this polygon selected, we go right click and subdivide. Here in the subdivide, you have to be aware that smooth subdivision is not checked. So one is okay, but so here we have what we need. Now we go, we need a knife okay. with K on the keyboard. So we go to line mode, restricted to selection is okay. Is everything okay here? So and now we go just to cut from here to here, from here to here. Good. Now go in point mode and what I do is optimize. So in, in the point mode, I go and take just this one point here and bevel, MS for bevel. Here it's necessary, uh, it's important, not necessarily important to make null, so zero subdivisions, and let's say three centimeter. Okay. Nice. <laughs> That's exactly what I want. Good. Now we select this polygon here. Make an inner extrude. Eye on the keyboard. And let's say 0.3 is about uh, 0.3 is okay. And delete. Just delete uh, this polygon. Now we go into edge mode. UL for loop selection. Take this loop selection. Now we take the move tool. So, or E on the keyboard. And we had your point three in a, So let's pre press your command key on keyboard. And now drag this edges. But when yeah, that's okay. So I want to see this for the side now. Because I want this uh, of, let's say to nine, 19 here, 19 in the y axis, 19 centimeter in the y axis. Nope, not so. Go back. So I want to extrude this to 19. So it means again, press the uh, command key. And now this edge we want to be at 19 at the y-axis. Because we need these edges here for the rounding then. So now we want here, these edges we want to extrude outer. That's, uh, that's a little tricky but, but it's nice. Go in the scale mode. 
and we just want to go uh, to scale in the z and x axis so I go to the y axis hold the shift key then I press the command key and then I drag with the mouse with the left button and go out Then I wanna go uh, go in the move tool, command key, and drag it in. about one centimeter here. Then we go again in the scale tool. Here shift command and go in this about thirty centimeters about centimeters. Yeah, it's okay. Then again the move tool, then we take the uh, command key and go down here. So that's it, we have a nice neck, but it's not rounded. So for the rounding, we continue like that. Go in the edge mode, UL for loop selection, here. Then we bevel this with MS. Uh, let's say <coughs> we need three subdivisions and uh, three centimeter. Huh? Yeah, because I'm here on the limit, so it's almost doesn't matter what I what I have here. If I go to this one, you see it. And if you press these little uh, arrows and you hold your Alt key on the keyboard, you have small steps. And this, you see, it, it's normal, it's 1.0.2. Uh, but if I go further with the limit selected, doesn't matter. So um, normally I have the limit selected. Point 0.2. Anyway, so now we go. We need we do some loop selections, and we need it here, 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 and here. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. Yes. So and now we MS for bevel, the bevel again, and point three, what I can remember. Yeah, that's it so far. Good. Now with the phone break, it almost looks round. Uh, with the phone break, with the phone deck, it almost almost looks round, but it isn't. We know it. But if we if we go here down, you see it. So what we need to do, to do is now some ring selections with U, B on the keyboard we take some ring selections one and don't forget to hold shift so you can add your selections we go here 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 do, 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 do. Okay, that's it. And now we bevel again with MS and go to to five. Uh, yeah, let's say five subdivisions. And here we have to, to, to look that the edges are closed. If you look at the top of the of the neck here. We want we want to close these edges. So again, have a look. Oops, what did I do? <laughs> so MS. So now we go and now we go as far as the edges are closed. See it? That looks nice so far. But if we render it, we will see some weird edges again here, here. 
that doesn't matter that we do what I love to do we just optimize okay. right click optimize and now the edges are gone what we have here in uh, that's new for me but it won't do anything Why do I have this? Oh, let's go back. Why not? Maybe I forgot. Yeah, I forgot. With the ring selections, I forgot something. We need more ring selections. This is U, B, and add here and here. I'm not sure I did it. I think I did. Doesn't matter. MS for bevel. And let's bevel. So, yeah, now it's okay. I forgot it. Good. So, again, optimize. And now we have a nice and clean thing here. Good. Now we continue with the, some with the buttons I did. So, we have a look at the picture. I did here this this patterns here and then we do this notches or what <laughs> however it's called I don't know <laughs> okay let's start with this pattern here go into edge mode now go into polygon mode do a loop selection ul and now we have to cut some slices k for knife here we go in the plain mode. Slices and 17 is okay. I know it because I tested it. Go into side view and can I can show you something. If you are not sure how many cuts you need, just go over your thing. As you see, as, as soon as these slices are visible, just push once the the shift button, and now it's now you can play here and just uh, to see how many cards you want so and if you're satisfied I'm satisfied with 17 just click anywhere here one click and it's cut so now we have this and all polygons are selected now we do a matrix extrude so right click here matrix extrude and here I have from the before is the right settings it's minus one here 70 70 70 and just enter and we have this pattern good nice but now I'm crazy and I want to bury everything here that's so go here the edge mode now here now I'll take a rectangle selection. Here it's important visible elements is unchecked. And go here and here. Here it's okay. And here it's okay too. And now bevel MS subdivisions I will take how many subdivisions I will take one just one and here and point one in the centimeter point one here so should look quite nice hey so now we have this pattern. Now we do this, <laughs> let's say, notches. So here, uh, yet we need a selection tool. Here, go into polygon mode and select some 
one, two, don't forget to press shift so you can add your selection. One, two, three. <coughs> do, 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 do. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Good. Now I want to inner extrude this polygons. I on the keyboard or here in extrude with an offset from point 0.1 good now extrude with D on the keyboard with an offset from point 0.1 we have it here already okay now we have this <laughs> okay now I'm how I said I'm crazy and I want to bevel these two so let's select some edges if you have already selected this this uh, polygons you just have to press shift on your keyboard and go with press shift on edges now you have the edges selected of the polygons you have selected now we need loop mode ul for loop selection don't forget the shift one two three and these inner things I want to bury too, so I go in the ring mode, UB. Tink. 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 So, at the same around, every way around. That's, that's a bit work, but it's not so hard. The result is better. Uh, and the last one. And last loop mode, loop selection, loop mode. So, so that's it. And now just bevel MS. Oh, this should be okay. Now make, let's make two subdivisions. Good. That's it. We have our bottle. We can be satisfied so far, I think. Good. Let's see. Uh, should look like our. Hmm? Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Then we, with the label here, that's it's, it's no problem. You can take every label you want, then, because uh, you just take. Uh, Whatever, spline, extrude this spline, uh, extrude, extrude this spline, 0.5 is enough, go here, e. and that's it for your, for your label, because everything is uh, out of glass, so, so you don't see it really. Yeah, just to fill it caps or something else, but we do it later. Good, I think for the first part it should be okay. Uh, the project file you can download. I, I write everything in the description. Uh, there you, you find on my website, you find the whole project. And yeah, the next part will be how is it uh, the liquids, the glass the ice cubes and then we texture and light this whole thing. I hope you liked it so far. I hope my language was not too poo, <laughs> too hard for you <laughs> to listen. But uh, I think it will, it will get better. So, 
yeah, what can I say? I can say thanks for watching, of course. And uh, if you have some questions, just, just write it in the comments or, or write me an email or go on my uh, website or go on my Facebook. Yeah, I would like if you like my Facebook site, why not? And yeah, the whole the, the links and everything I write in the description, just, just read the description. And if you like the video, I would love a thumbs up or down if you don't like. Doesn't matter. I love haters too. <laughs> so <laughs> doesn't matter. Okay, so ne the next tutorial, I think it will be next week or, or a weekend or so. We'll see how I find time. So wish you a nice day, a nice rest of the day or somehow or good morning don't know where you are and see you later and see you next time bye bye